does it take to change a light bulb? I'm not joking, and I know it sounds like a dumb question, but it is one some Cleveland firefighters are asking after their cars were trashed for the second time this month. They want the city to finally fix the problems outside their fire station. Five on your side investigator Scott Knowles shows us what he's uncovered. Imagine waking up to this, windows bashed out, cars and trucks trashed. Here at Fire Station 17 on Cleveland's east side, it has firefighters seeing red. We want it to get handled. It's a problem. It's a problem and we want it to get handled. Owen Donlin is with the union that represents city firefighters. He says this morning's break-ins are the second here this month. This time, eight cars and trucks got hit while firefighters slept inside the station. Thieves causing thousands of dollars in damage, getting away with less than 50 bucks in change. So why here? Firefighters say it may have something to do with these burned out lights all around the building and parking lot. In fact, we found the guy in charge of public safety facilities requested at least six lights outside Station 17 get fixed. That was two and a half weeks ago, but they're still out. Frustrating, says this union rep. Did it end up on the back burner? Maybe, but, you know, we're just hoping it gets handled. That's all we want. You know, we don't want to make a big thing of it. We want them to come out, fix the lights. Make sure our property, our cars, and ourselves are protected. A seemingly simple fix firefighters here have been waiting weeks for, hoping the city will finally protect them while they're serving the city. Go in, do our jobs, and uh, God willing, come out and have everything in there and all your windows not smashed in. Some good news. The city tells News 5 these burned out lights will finally get fixed tomorrow. We asked if that was a result of what happened here today, and we were told... It's just how things fell in line.